The Greg Tech energy system can be quite confusing for new players, so I decided to make a guide. In Greg Tech Community Edition Unofficial, the energy unit, or EU, is transported through direct connection, wires, or cable. Greg Tech energy consists of voltage and amperage. Voltage is the amount of energy sent each tick, ranging anywhere from 32 EU to the maximum of 2.147 billion EU. Amperage is the amount of packages of a voltage sent each tick. So for example, 128 EU per tick at LV would be 4 amps of LV, not 1 amp of MV, which is 128 EU per tick. You can think of amps as being energy packets that are sent from the generator, optionally through a wire or cable, to the closest machine. A low voltage Greg Tech generator will output 32 EU per tick, which is the voltage in 1 amp. If you supply too many amps to a wire, it will burn. If you supply too high of a voltage to a machine, it will explode. Note that the machines can accept only one amp, unless stated otherwise, so it is safe to feed two or more amps to them. Some blocks such as battery buffers or energy hatches will consume more amps depending on how many they say, so you'll need to check their tooltips. Power loss works by volts per amp per block. So an LV wire with a loss of 2 per block will be supplying 20 EU per tick to adjacent machines after only 6 blocks of distance. To optimize power usage, you should reduce energy loss. For that, you should insulate your wires to get cables. Not only do cables have less energy loss, but they will also not electrocute you. The best type of wire is a superconductor. They are more expensive to craft, but they come with zero loss. That means they do not need to be insulated, because they cannot electrocute you, and they have no need for reduced energy loss. If you have 4 LV generators, they will output 32 volts in 4 amps together. 32 volts in 4 amps, which is a total of 128 EU per tick, is not the same as MV, which has amp sizes of 128 EU per tick. You can also use a transformer to turn 4 amps of X into 1 amp of Y, and 1 amp of Y into 4 amps of X, where X is 1 voltage tier below Y. For example, you could turn 4 amps of LV into 1 amp of MV, or 1 amp of MV into 4 amps of LV. If you need to store energy, you will need battery buffers. Each battery in the buffer adds 2 amps in and 1 amp out. So when you put 3 batteries in the buffer, it will accept 6 amps at most and give 3 amps at most. Buffers can have different inventory sizes, but you don't have to fill them completely. Finally, one more machine that might be useful is a diode, not to be confused with the crafting component. It allows energy to flow in only one direction and can limit the amperage throughput to up to 16 amps. Diodes might be a useful safety measure when you have a central power line and some branches to which you need to supply only a portion of your total energy. There are multiple ways Greg Tech electric machines can explode. If you've enabled it in the configs, rain will make your electric machines explode if the rain hits the machine, so put your machinery under a proper roof. Wires without insulation will catch fire when they touch rain, while both wires and cables will catch fire if they're supplied with more amps than they're rated for. Fire will blow up your machines if it gets too close. As mentioned before, supplying a voltage tier that is higher than the machine's voltage tier will also make it. Greg Tech progression is based on making more energy so you can tier up and unlock better machines and multi-blocks. In base Greg Tech, the progression has 9 tiers, from LV to UV, low voltage to ultimate voltage. The add-on called Gregicality Science will add 6 new voltage tiers on top of the pre-existing 9, going all the way up to max tier, or 2.147 billion EU per tick. So that's all of the energy mechanics in Greg Tech Community Edition Unofficial. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, you can check out more guides in the playlist linked in the description. You can also download Greg Tech Community Edition Unofficial through the link in the description.